Okay, hi guys, it's uh, Monster Cameron yet again, and um, today I actually have an, a game review. This is um, Mad Fingers' latest romp at uh, first person shooters. This is uh, Dead Trigger, uh, available on uh, Android. Uh, one of those games that is optimized for Tegra, which I think is total crap, seeing as um, the Mali 400 GPU is better than Tegra. Or at least in raw numbers, um, in performance numbers. Um, but whatever. Uh, yeah, where, where it's, it's already been done. Uh, but this is actually a really fun game, uh, and it's it has the best graphics of any Android game to date. I think it beats uh, Nova 3 by a slight margin. Nova had a few effects that were really good, uh, and it had like ragdolls and such, but this one is it's a much tidier, uh, much tidier looking game, and I'll show you right now. So I'm just gonna jump into this little quest. Let's see if I can. I'm not even cash, so um, I'll jump into the quest and I'll show you that real quick. I'm gonna try to keep this short because I know uh, I tend to keep my videos a little bit on the longer side. But yeah, this is my Samsung Galaxy Tab uh, 7.0 Plus or. And um, yeah, let's do this. Uh, it's a little bit hard to do this through the camera. Well, you can see the graphics and the lighting effects are really good. Although, this is, I think, baked lighting. There are no real time shadows. This is, uh, I would say, PS2 quality graphics, or 90s PC quality graphics, or early 2000s. Uh, kind of like a serious Sam kind of looking thing, no real time shadows, but uh, uh, they got some good um, um, uh, reactionary physics to it. If, wherever you shoot them, that's what, how they react. Although it's all pre baked, it's not dynamic like uh, the, the Euphoria engine from uh, GTA. But it's still entertaining. Controls are a little bit sticky, but that could just be my <laughs> my my LCD. And I hope it's in focus. I have the camera on now, continuous autofocus. And, but as you can see, the environments uh, look very good. I'll try, there we go, some focus. They look really good. Really nice, sharp textures. And there's a little bit of aliasing. I don't know if you can be able to see it. show you this but there's a bit of aliasing on, on the, the 3d models which is well isn't too bad and right here this is what really pisses me off right here you would usually have you'd have the water effects uh, like you had in shadow run that they claimed only works on Nvidia hardware it, it doesn't really add much to the game except for visuals no, there's no real gameplay con uh, uh, factor to it, but it's so such a simple thing they could have added, and it, it didn't. You know, money really corrupts. Because that could have been added for all, you know, for Power of VR, for Maui, and for Tegra, and it wouldn't be such a big deal, but whatever. As you can see, you know, it's a little bit repetitive. You know, it's a mobile game. It isn't meant to be entirely captivating. This is for like five minutes at a time when you're on the bus. So uh, I don't mind it. And it's, it's pretty fun for the five minutes that you're playing it for. It's not going to be a Left 4 Dead with like a half hour long campaign or, or hour long campaign or whatever. It's just a simple uh, shooting gallery with uh, some nice animations and some really good uh, damn it some really great uh, you know oh no I'm getting surrounded some really great gameplay for a little handheld
go. Uh, that's it. That's uh, the trigger.